Well, tonight we do have more answers as to why the San Diego Zoo authorities there euthanized Connie. Not in your sides, Marcelino Benito is live at the Reed Park Zoo with more on what happened to Connie. Guy, when Connie was healthy here at the Reed Park Zoo, she would drink 75 of these, 75 gallons of water a day. Now, days before her death, she was down to just one and a half, and that is when the veterinarians knew something was horribly wrong. It is an emotionally exhausting decision, and it did not come lightly to all of us. Connie meant something special to everyone at the Reed Park Zoo, especially to Chief Veterinarian Dr. Alexis Moreno. We eat, breathe, and sleep these animals on a 24-hour on a basis, and so when one of these animals gets sick or, God forbid, we lose one of these animals, um, it's exhausting for us, and we, we take it to heart, absolutely. But as hard as the news hurt, those who knew Connie the best knew this was coming. Things were touch and go um, for quite some time. Man on your side called the San Diego Zoo to get a clearer picture of what ailed the aging elephant. Some um, tumors in her reproductive area that certainly shouldn't have been there either. And um, it just one thing after another seemed to really be impacting her uh, ability to ability to sustain herself. The San Diego Zoo tells none on your side Connie wasn't eating and barely drinking, consuming just one and a half gallons of water a day. A healthy elephant needs 75. We were hoping that, you know, she would be with us for a while, but unfortunately that just didn't work out. Back in Tucson, Dr. Moreno says the San Diego Zoo offered Connie the best care in the world, but knowing that, won't make the loss any easier to take. If it means a lot to you, what do you think it means to the people of Tucson? I, I hope it's as profound as it is to us. Um, I mean, I, I can see that they were they were loved, um, they were respected, and we were humbled to work with them on a daily basis. And I think the community was humbled to have them a part of their lives. Now, no one loved Connie more than Shaba. We're told Shaba was able to say goodbye to Connie. Uh, officials tell me it'll take him, it'll take Connie, it'll take Shaba, excuse me, a while to adjust to Connie's loss. But we're told health-wise, Shaba is doing pretty good. We're live at the zoo tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, Kagan 9, on your side. Does the Reed Park Zoo plan any kind of memorial for Connie? Well, Guy, I asked that question to zoo officials. They tell me they definitely plan on doing something. What that will look like and when that will, act, when, and when that will actually happen, still up in the air at this point. Marcelino, thank you.